Okay, so the Raptor's done. So you can see the new head unit. It's Kenwood uh, 991. Um, you can also see here where we mounted the microphone, the mic pickup, and then it just unplugs here so when I'm not using it, it comes straight out. Kind of a cool little feature. The uh, I'll show you where the head unit is in just a second. Um, as far as the speakers go, what we did was we painted the silver to be black to match. Same thing with this grill, we changed the logo. These are the doors on the sub, uh, the eight inch subs in the door. You can see here that they are, um, we, we uh, used wood plating and the door is actually free hung. It, it, it's not supporting the weight of the speaker, it's actually all drilled into the actual door frame itself. Um, you see the inside looks very, very stock. That was the goal to keep it looking as good as possible. Uh, everything's been uh, set with roadkill, um, road adhesive, and or, um, uh, soundproofing. And so now it, when the door's shut, they shut solid. Let's go around this side here. I'll show you the sub box. The sub box is in the stock location. Um, and what we did was we uh, bolted it down to make sure it's not going anywhere. Um, it's a uh, automobile 10 inch sub in a fiberglass and wood enclosure and the seat only comes up this far now because the box is hidden back there a little bit so put that back down okay um, that is the truck so let's get inside and fire this thing up start it from the outside So obviously it's a very noisy truck. Um, with the soundproofing though, you'll notice it gets a lot quieter. So let me go ahead and pop the key in. Um, so one nice thing that we did, these are for the siren. The siren mounts, we also wired it to the, uh, to the center uh, horn here. So you can see we get, it sounds like a fire siren. Let's go ahead and get in. And just to give you an idea of the uh, way it works, I'll rev the engine here with the windows up and turn off the air conditioning so you get a real sense. So that's windows up. Now let me roll down the window. So you can see it definitely quiets it out quite a bit. This is the, uh, mute this here. So this is the head unit. Um, it runs on Google's operating system. Uh, so, you know, you can swipe across. It has apps, it has built-in YouTube, it has iHeartRadio, it has Pandora, has a web browser. And the way that I actually have it hooked up right now is kind of interesting. So it has Wi-Fi. I have a MiFi here running 4G LTE that I just have sitting down here plugged in and running. The, um, uh, the stereo connects to it um, to get its updates, but I also, in the glove box, excuse the mess, I'm still in the process of eliminating some of these wires, I have an iPod 5. That iPod 5 is connected to Wi-Fi as well, which gives me the ability to have the app Pandora work. So it works via a hard connection on here. So I don't have to worry about draining out my battery using A2DP on the phone. Um, so that's uh, that's the Pandora app. Of course, it also gives me the iPod controls. The touch screens on all of these, they used to be uh, um, what's known as haptic, where you touch them and they buzz at you and then you could move. Now they're capacitive, just like your iPhone or your Galaxy, so they, you know, they, they're very easy to uh, touch. Um, very, very nice setup. A um, couple of the other cool things is um, climate control. So I can actually get to my climate control here by hitting my F-150. And under my F-150, I can go to climate, and it looks just like the stock climate control. So if I turn it on from the switch down here, you can see up here it's kicked in. Same thing I can turn on my seat coolers and that all works. So I'm going to turn it back off. Turn that
that back off. Um, so you get that control, which is very nice. Let me go back. You also get vehicle info, and this is different. So I get tire pressures. I get my voltage on my battery. If I open a door, it tells me that the door has been opened. Um, and any check engine lights will actually tell me what the error code is rather than just giving me the stupid yellow check engine. And finally, I also get gauges. And there's a bunch of gauges that you can set. Right now I have RPM set up on here. I have uh, the mass airflow sensor, coolant temperature, the timing, and voltage. Um, but under settings here, I can actually go and select gauges and I can change any gauge I want and I can do intake air temp, mass air flow, uh, um, intake air pressure, vehicle speed, transmission fluid temperature, torque, timing advance. Um, so there's, you know, throttle plate position. There's a bunch that can be controlled. Let's go back home here. Um, it also gets uh, full uh, DVD. So we open this up and if I push and hold this, I actually get an SD card as well as a USB input right there. Let's close this back up. Um, it has HD radio, it has Sirius XM, it has apps. So you've seen the Pandora app. Um, scroll down here. It does have navigation. The navigation is a Garmin uh, navigation, which is very nice. So. Very simple and easy to use. Let's see here. Um, it does have HDMI coming in. So uh, any phones that support HDMI, you can actually watch videos through your phone to this um, or from the onboard storage or from USB storage or uh, streaming itself. Um, and I can show you the streaming part on YouTube, which is kind of neat. So let's go here, actually scroll over over again and go to YouTube and so what it's going to do is it's going to load up and I can actually log in to YouTube which I've already done so I can go to my YouTube I can go to my upload lists and from here you can see some of my videos so here we are I'm loading a video. And give it a second to start playing. And so there you go. There's a video right there. So let me hit pause here. Go back home. Um, hit home again. Now, one of the other things it does is if I hold the nav button, there's my backup camera. And what's cool is that if I come over here and you have got your off-roading camera if I enable that camera without shifting into four-wheel drive or anything see I'm still in too high I get my front camera so that's kind of neat I can disable it and go back to the back camera and that's just a touch of a button all my steering controls still work um, what I lost I lost control these controls these don't work anymore however if I go into my f-150 you notice sync phone, sync Bluetooth audio, sync media. So all my sync functions still work and does, and so does my uh, voice control. So I can control all of that, which is kind of cool. Uh, let's see, what else do I have? Um, I have, uh, we can, you can hear the uh, drone if you want here. Let me uh, head on down the street. So I'll give you a little taste of what it sounds like here. So, but you can hear inside the truck, for those of you who have ever ridden in my truck, know how loud it used to be. And it's a lot quieter now. So, here we go. So we'll go down the street. So, just give you an idea. So that's a shift from uh, second to third. Now, here I'm rolling down the windows. So now you can hear it again with the windows down. Rolling up the windows. So you can 
here, it, it, it knocked about 30% of the volume off the outside of the truck, which is really nice. Um, take a right here, they're building a huge house at the end of our street. Okay, so the other thing that you would <clears throat> probably want to know is how does it sound? Um, I will tell you the mids and the highs sound great. Um, the mid subs sound really good. The subwoofer, I'm in a small enclosure, it could sound better. Um, you know, had I done it again, I probably would have reconsidered maybe getting rid of the tough box and going to 310 inches back there. But I think the first time that I break down or someone else breaks down and I rescue them, like when they tip their truck over, probably be glad that I have all that stuff in the back. So here's a uh, short sample of the sound and I'm also gonna let you hear the sirens, which are off-road only and I'm not on the road right now, so it should be okay. Here we go. It's Friday night, what's going on tonight? Okay, so that's the music. Now, how about the siren? So the siren was wired into uh, the horn as well. So we're gonna let this truck go by here. And the switches down here control, it, it has warbling, it has uh, yelping, um, but it's basically designed for off-road. So here's my horn now. Okay, let me do it outside so you can hear it. And then here's the siren. So, it gives you an idea of what the uh, car can do now. Anyways, thanks.